Hey guys, I'm LB, and we're here in Aperture Laboratories to play Lost End Doors 1 Period by XX Toxic Guy XX. Camera regular, difficultad regular, and uh, yeah, it's in Spanish. I I've noticed that camera or camera seem seems to be a common mistranslation of something from Spanish to English. But uh, yeah, anyway, it's Lost in Doors 1. Let's check it out. Please continue into the next test chamber. Which involves deadly lasers, and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. That's While weird. What's I was going out on investigating, there? I found a fascinating new test element. It's never been used for human testing because, apparently, contact with it causes heart failure. The literature doesn't mention anything about lump of coal failure, though, so you should be fine. Am I supposed to fling over to that? That seems a bit weird. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, apparently flinging over to that works just fine. I did not expect that to work at all. Well, there's that done. Not sure what the point of this area was, but sure. Alright, we gotta keep up there. Hmm. What do we have here? Oh, automatic. Alright, sure. Well, we got another cube. Where do we want to actually put it, though? Also, this... What is the deal with this area? What's in here? Oh. Oh! Anti-trapping. Okay. So my question is, why is this... why is this even necessary at all? I mean, I'm glad you have anti-trapping built in, but I'm not sure what the glass is for. Also, this was another very, very easy map right here, so I'm not sure what this was all about. Interesting. Oh, I'm not a fan of this. I hate- I hate when maps do this. Yeah, I don't like this. Weighted cubes calibrated. <laughs> what was even the point of that? It was the easiest one I've ever played. Alright, well this looks like it might be an actual puzzle. Might. There's not enough lighting here, by the way. It's a bit dark in this corner. Let's see what this does. Alright. That's interesting enough. What if we do... ...something... like this? Hmm. Also, I wonder, can I burn the GLaDOS? That is not part of the test. <laughs> you, you totally really can. You aren't getting tired of that, are you? That's interesting, the hitbox changed when I burned it. Strange. Well, we have an edge of safety cube now. And we'll just have to remember that this is up here. And... Oh, that's literally all we needed to do. Okay. You did an excellent job placing the edgeless safety cube in the receptacle. You should be very... Oh, wait. Come on. Well, there you have it. There's that one done. What about here? Oh, we got the significator in this one. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. By the way, you should really turn off the GLaDOS dialogue, because the GLaDOS dialogue gets really irritating when people play lots of maps and they hear it all the time. Right, where do we want to take these? Oh, come on now. I guess we just want to send it over there somewhere? I mean, that seems like a reasonable thing to do, right? Yeah, well, there you have it. And then I guess we just fling ourselves back to safety, right? That would be my guess. Right, what next? A turret? Why, though? 
Why would you do this to me? Why is this necessary? Come on now. There we go. Is that problem solved? What is the point of this, though? Yeah, what even is the point of that? I'm not sure what the point of any of this is, but, uh, anyway... That was the map that we played. Right, well guys, this as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye! If Hush, GLaDOS. Hush!